All right, guys. So I just wanted to share with you guys a uh, new comp. Uh, this is still in testing, but it has worked out really, really well during uh, the live streams uh, that I've done. All right, from the first initial testing as well as more. Uh, but here we go. This is going to be a crimson coral, frill jellyfish, sorbet shark, sea fairy, as well as snapdragon comp right over here. And yeah, finally we're using sea fairy. But one thing about this comp is, as you guys can see, my crystal jam is plus 16. All right, which means that sea fairy is going to have the ability to take advantage of the ascension buff here. Um, not five star ascension yet, uh, but we can see right here the third one. We're able to get an extra uh, pillar as well. And then, of course, at plus 10, we have the damage resist bypass. I think this is very, very, very important as well. All right. So if your crystal jam is not plus 10 or plus 15, then you guys can simply go and use the black pearl one as well. I think the black pearl one is definitely a lot, 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 lot better uh, for most players uh, to take advantage of. All right. This is another comp that I tested out during the live stream uh, when we were testing sorbet as well. Uh, but let's go over the topping real quick. First of all, Crimson Coral is using Five of the Swift Chocolate, and you guys can see something different than what I have normally shared. And uh, it's that right here, damage resist is a little bit lower, right? It's at 8% damage resist for my Crimson Coral. Um, normally, I still would recommend you guys to get a pretty high damage resist around 15 to 20% for most players because of the fact that your you know, labs and your statue, your guild relics and stuff are not as high as mine. And then next one is going to be a Frill Jellyfish. Frill Jellyfish also has two different uh, settings as well. Uh, you can go with the Full Swift Chocolate, focusing on a, a bit of damage resist and cooldown. Uh, or you can just go with a Raspberry. So a lot of people are actually choosing Raspberry right now as well. Uh, because of the fact that Frill Jellyfish doesn't really survive well inside of the arena anyways. You just use her skill, do the little damage that she can, apply the debuffs, and then have her die. And then she will just go and heal your cookies. It takes a while for the healing to actually take place, but it's not too bad, especially when you pair it up with someone like, you know, Snapdragon, all right? And then Sorbet as well as uh, Seafair are going to be using very similar toppings for Raspberry, one of the Swift Chocolate. For Sorbet, Sorbet did receive a buff of 13 second cooldown now for the skill. It's going to be 10.3% at least to have a 3 second start. And then we want to focus on the damage resist and of course attack and crit if possible. Next one is going to be our Sea Fairy. 4 of the uh, Searing Raspberry as well as 1 of the Swift Chocolate. 11.8% cooldown, damage resist, attack and crit. Um, if you can't do this with 4 Raspberry, 1 uh, Swift Chocolate, then go with 3 of the uh, Raspberry, 2 Swift Chocolate. That also works out as well. You'll sacrifice a bit on the damage, but you know uh it still works out all right and then uh we got right over here uh five of the swift chocolate here for snapdragon and we are focusing on the cooldown 24 percent all right uh the black pearl one is also very similar uh she is using 18 percent uh this is what i've asked uh you know and i told you guys about around you know 17.3 above 17.3 and then around 19 percent uh is probably the best one here and then we have the damage resist and the treasures still the same Rare Scroll, as well as the Watch and the Whistle. Strawberry Shark's Magic Candy is at plus 12 right now. So it's not super, super high and still works out. If you can, try to get up to 10. If not, you can still probably use it because it's still, it still works out. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to verse this one. This is another pretty popular one here with Crimson Coral. And I think this one is Stardust here. All right, so here we go. All right, here we go. This one is actually a Mango instead of a Stardust. All right, so you can see right here the frill jellyfish, uh, you know, in snare. All right, and we all use our skill, but mine was just better. <laughs> and here comes the uh, pillars and finish. Okay, there we go. Not bad, not bad. Sea Fairy, honestly, like after she starts to get like you know higher in the crystal jam level does so much damage uh especially now like i guess said paired with crimson coral and frill jellyfish like the amount of water type damage uh they take increases the amount of water type damage you deal increases you also have this as well so it's like insane amount of damage all right another one here black 
pearl. I'm not too sure about these two here, but we'll just go with it anyways. All right, all right, here we go. This one, triple DPS one here. All right, that Stardust didn't even get to use skill. Uh, Moonlight used skill and then just disappeared. All right, so honestly, in my opinion, uh, the combo, the Frill Jellyfish and uh, Sorbet combo is really, really good. Um, and I know a lot of you guys have commented this already too, um, and I addressed it as well, but uh, you know, Sorbet does ha still have that one major issue that we have seen before, which is going to be uh, the fact that Sorbet still can miss, right? Sorbet still can miss the skill, which means that you're not going to be able to do the damage that you're supposed to. All right, uh, for uh, people asking about replacement for Frill Jellyfish, I don't really think there's a replacement for Frill Jellyfish. Uh, I mean, you can use Black Pearl in, in this comp. You can use, you know, Stardust in this comp, but the Ensnare as well as the 99% attack speed slow in the beginning, one second cooldown is very, very important. And the extra water type damage as well. You don't need Frill Jellyfish to be insanely high ascension or anything like that either. You can just simply use a, you know, lower promotion Frill Jellyfish and it'll still work out. Because again, she has a one second start, right? Whether you put in toppings or not. All right, this time around against the uh, T Knight comp, we're just going to use Black Pearl this time instead. All right, here we go. I would say if you're going to replace someone in this particular comp, then the co cookie that you can replace again uh, would be Black Pearl with Sea Fairy, Sea Fairy with Black Pearl. Or, yeah, I would say the only other one that you might be able to try and replace is going to be Sorbet. Um, I mean, again, people are using, you know, no Snapdragon and they're just going with triple DPSs as well. That is another variation of the comp um of course that will not have sorbet in it but uh, you know crimson coral uh, especially inside of a water comp is very uh very 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 strong and you know you guys know that you're able to get crimson coral or most players will be able to get crimson coral for free as long as you do all the event all right uh so please take advantage of it there you guys go Especially T-Knights now. If you have T-Knights and you have Sorbet, boom. Just just kind of shred T-Knight and Hollowberry out of the way now. Okay, so. But anyways, here we go. Uh, another one right over here. This time around, Pattaya Hollowberry. Let's go. All right, here we go. And you can see Hollowberry just taking all the fat load of damage here. All right, this time around, the Rockstar and all of them did survive the initial uh, initial fight here. All right. Come on. Let's get rid of the uh, ho Hollowberry here. Okay. Did not happen the way I wanted to, but here we go. Sea Fairy. And then hopefully uh, we're able to get rid of the uh, tanks here soon with the next skill here. Right, see fairy stun sorbet get rid of the tanks and just left with the black pearl here shield comes out all right come on sorbet and see fairy 30 second mark boom gone there we go that was close not gonna lie that was close all right so you can see though like again something like this where there's not like a ton of burst damage right away this frill jellyfish was using a seven percent damage resist searing raspberry build here Crimson Coral is using 8% and still working out with the rare score as well. So, so there you guys go. A, um, you know, Sorbet Shark, Frill Jellyfish, Water type comp here, as well as the Black Pearl comp. Um, you know, again, I would say, uh, you, you know, if you have someone like, uh, you know, Black Pearl leveled up already and have the Crystal Gem while your Sea Fairy is lower in the Crystal Gem level, just use the Black Pearl. Black Pearl works out as well. Um, you know, if you have the ability to go and create the crystal gem and level up to at least plus 10 for Sea Fairy, then Sea Fairy is also a very, very good option now with, you know, the amount of water type cookies that we have. Uh, of course, this is not like the comp that will beat everything. Um, once again, uh, the higher level the, the magic candies and the crystal gem, the stronger it will become. become. But there's just various uh, variations of frill jellyfish comps now that comes out. So once I find out more that's, you know, working out well, I will share that with you guys. But yeah, just want to share a Sorbet Shark Frill Jellyfish comp with the exact toppings that I'm using for the current arena.